What is up everyone? Welcome back. Uh, today we're doing kind of a funky box, but a good box. Um, so prices have been really, really expensive. And I found, I don't know if you see these floating around, but they're like little starter packs. And it was billed as a, you know, grab a Michael Jordan card. Um, those of you who know what you're looking at know that uh, those packs are good packs. But um, so this is a 1986 Hobby Upper Deck. So let's open this box. Uh, it's kind of interesting, but I got this for a slamming deal. So um, these packs right now are going for 50 bucks a pack. The boxes are going in the thousands. And I scooped up this box with the four packs that said, you know, get a Michael Jordan for, for 40 bucks. So if I was a smart guy, I would resell them and, you know, make a good profit. But luckily for, for us, I'm not. And I decided that we're gonna open them up. Um, also comes with this little, like, Michael Jordan starter, really, really ugly, like, not, like it's like a yellowed thing but it was all about the packs and the price was great so in this box in, in normally we we have this box on this channel the full break before things went crazy so you can check that out here if you like um we can get the uh kobe bryant exclusive rookie card uh along with the possible for uh smooth grooves jordan which is a way way uh underrated um jordan insert in my opinion you also get ray allen steve nash uh, Allen iverson rookies as well so there's actually a lot of opportunity uh, in this box. And then um, uh, before we get started, though, I want to, uh, you know, I have a family member who's been doing important work. He was, uh, you know, drafted uh, into the MLB and he's been doing a lot of work. So just a quick message from uh, AAAD uh, and the founder, China McCarney, uh, and um, a little bit about uh, their programs and what they do. And then when we come back, we're going to get right into these packs. I think everyone should read it. I think it can help everyone. You're starting out in your mental health journey and you're wondering where to take the first step. I think this is a great resource. It's simple. You can do it at your own pace. In the companion journal, you can dive in and kind of do some self-therapy. It's just you and your thoughts, putting pen to paper and answering questions about individual mental health resources. Find the ingredients that work best for your mental health recipe and the manual and the companion journal are gonna help you do that. Everybody can benefit. Moms, dads, sons, daughters, coaches. If you want to improve your mental health, this is a great resource to do so. Okay, great. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. Um, not a sponsor, just, uh, you know, spreading the, uh, the info. But uh, let's go ahead. So here's your packs. We got four of these. These are the hobby. Here is the odds right down there at the bottom. Oh, we can also get predictor cards. Uh, Michael's Viewpoint, I don't remember that, but Smooth Grooves is 1 in 72. Michael's Viewpoint's 1 in 34. Predictor's 1 in 25. And the exclusives were actually, you know, really, uh, there was a lot of them in this. We pulled a lot in that first box. One in every four packs, so technically we should get one out of this. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start breaking into this. Hopefully they're not too bricked. It was... Uh, uh, somewhat notorious in the 90s that these cards could be bricked, but uh, and maybe these are resealed. I don't know. The, the price was so good. I was shocked um, Maybe they're really bricked. We'll have to just uh, find out together. Oh, they look like they're not too bricked so first pack in um, All right, there's a uh, Terrell Brandon Let's See who else we got these cards are actually in pretty good shape last time they were breaking well as uh, breaking uh, great as well Second year, uh, Kevin Garnett card, KG. So since we don't have too many, I'll start just a little secondary dealio there. So I really, really would like to get that Michael. Oh, here we go, a little bit. Uh, not bad at all, actually. Smooth grooves. Um, but there's Isaiah Ryder. And Latrell Sprewell. There's two or one. Well, there's Horace Grant. Yeah, we uh, lucked out on this... Uh, this little four pack i mean even for the price it's like if i don't it's not like i broke my bank trying to get it oh and we did get an exclusive rookie card right here so looks like it's not kobe but we did get one in four packs and uh of course we uh got uh john wallace but still a great looking card so we have we did pull a kobe like this and they're selling raw for like uh, I mean, really messed up for like 60 bucks for about 100, 150 raw, and then up to 400 for a Kobe like this in uh, PSA 9. And then if it's a PSA 10, you're looking at $900 plus. So they're only going to get more and more uh, expensive. But maybe we'll get lucky since this was a random 
little mix up here and maybe we'll get another one. So let's just go ahead and get our second pack here. And hopefully we'll, uh, I would like to get one of the rookies or uh, that Jordan um, would be fantastic. So uh, Smooth Grooves Jordan would be awesome for me. But there's Kerry Kittles, great shot. David Wesley, Stacy Ogman, right there. Yeah, these cards, I don't know what the gloss is. Alan Houston, but last time they were, I mean, I'm gonna curse myself, but last time they were breaking apart okay. And uh, I was able to get the cards in really good shape. There's a really, really nice Dennis Rodman right there. So, so we'll start our just uh, auxiliary pile there. A couple of Dan Patrick cards. So it looks like that's, uh, who's that? Glenn Rice? Big Dog. Glenn Robinson, sorry. And we went through these, but these were kind of touched together. All right. And then uh, there is Shane Heal. Felton uh, Spencer. Yeah, I don't know if it's common with all these glosses, but I'm really... You know, I'm really happy that I decided to open them. And even if, you know, whatever will be, will be. But at least we, uh, the cards are coming apart okay. So if I'd opened them and they were all bricked up and I was like, well, I could have still sold them. I had a little more regret, but, uh, you know, I really enjoy opening the cards. And I thought, hey, this is a kind of, this is a box break. It's just a very different, oh, we do have another ex uh, exclusives rookie coming up. So maybe uh, we did something good this time last year. There's Jawan Howard. Here's Robert Pact. Pack. Um, Sam Cassell. And there's Otis Thorpe. Jermaine O'Neal. Tracy Murray. Who's on the back? Ricky Pierce. All right. Moment of truth. Oh, we did get another one. It's Allen Iverson. Nice. So this is a this is a nice card right here. This card actually can uh, sell for a little bit as well. It came off great. I don't think I got Iverson on that whole box break. So we got two of these. I mean, we have one pack left. So maybe we'll be extra lucky. But the cut, the the card looks fantastic. So these are uh, graded well. There's always an Iverson market. It's like a cult following as well. So uh, I'm really happy. Uh, all in all, like yes, I could have probably sold these four packs for two hundred bucks, but long term on the channel i feel like that's uh, kind of where i wanted the uh, the investment to be and now i have an iverson rookie that uh, is an exclusive rookie card that uh can uh you know it looks like it's in fantastic shape so if it gets graded well it can cover that 200 dollars and then some and then we also got to open these so right there with that iverson i would consider that a win and i think actually if i'm not mistaken if you look at the back of these right they that's we might have uh one more coming up so maybe we're gonna flip this way maybe 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 we got uh we got extra lucky so looks like we're gonna get three of these exclusive rookie cards out of four packs which is pretty crazy so there's a uh, chris gatling it's like a uh, off cut at the bottom a little bit oh no that's the table so i'm gonna set that there for a second so i can kind of get the leverage on some of these they're like touched together but it's not bad there's a uh, samaki walker so he was a big prospect at the time um, I don't think I got any of him. I'm trying to like, <laughs> I want to save it. There we go. I'm going to save it uh, for last. But maybe we can still get a smooth uh, grooves out of here. Derek Harper. Tracy Murray. And then uh, Purvis Elson. Dan Marley, which uh, I explained it before. It was an fa inside family joke. I call him Dan Marger. I didn't know the channel was going to uh, catch any traction, so it was kind of just me messing with my cousins, uh, and uh, people were getting real upset, so <laughs> I stopped doing that peer pressure. But uh, uh, anyways, there's Dan Marley. And um, okay, it looks like this is uh, Stefan Marbury. So that's cool. So all right, moment of truth. Uh, of course, it's uh, Samaki Walker. I cursed it with that other Samaki Walker, but a uh, huge prospect at the time. So actually did pretty good. We got three exclusive rookie cards. No Kobe rookie on this one, but we did pull one in the last uh, break. So if you're if you need if you're jonesing for that, you can see that uh, on the channel. And a Carmelo to finish this out. Nice. So um, 
I actually am pretty impressed. And for 40 bucks, I mean, you can't touch these for that price. So a uh, big winner for me is this Allen Iverson exclusive rookies card. Uh, looks like it's in fantastic shape. The whole, all the packs, like uh, I'm, I'm really, really happy that they came apart as well as they did. So uh, we're going to continue to do more. I just want to do more like rare stuff and uh, things like that. And I got this at such a good deal. I was like, well, I'll just open it. But uh, we're going to uh, bring you more, but thanks for being here. Um, of course, like I just said, we're going to bring you more basketball and other content. And uh, we'll see you on the next break. Bye-bye.